raindrops. Drip. Drop top, drop top, smoking on cooking a hot box. Cookie. Fucking on your bitch, yeah, dot dot dot. Cooking up dope in the crock pot pot. We came from nothing to something, nigga. Hey. I don't try no. Last night took a L, but tonight I bounce back. Wake up every morning, by the night I count stacks. Knew that ass was real. We started having this whole little argument. Okay, I'm about to read them. So now we arguing on Snapchat. Gotta get my phone now, cause can't get Snapchat up there. So we having a whole little argument. Gotta get on Snap. Let me go to Snapchat right now. And like, I changed this. Oh, dang it! I opened her Snap. I didn't mean to. So I changed this whole name after that to another one. Um, middle finger emoji. And some other stuff. I don't remember what the other emoji was. So this is October 5th. So we arguing. Hold on. I'm trying to make sure that I didn't miss anything. Because I screenshotted the whole thing. I was real live mad, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. I was upset. And so at the time, his little Snapchat name was Baby. And so he was like, good morning. And I was like, question. And he was like, and he was like about and I was like who is she and he was like who the f question mark huh question mark question question mark you tweet nah 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 I ain't tweet I'm speaking facts big difference and I was like nah no I'm not I mean I still check your account so dot 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 everything is legit and he was on and, and then he texted me back he's on, on Instagram I thought you were asleep so I was up texting people who responded to mine who responded to my spam account text post and with that foo you tweak it and I was like but I was clearly up because I texted you three hours before so and he was like three hours hint three hours and I was like I'm not tweaking I know what I'm talking about to say now you ask me what's wrong so you know then he screenshot my thing so you know me was on Instagram and my feelings and a little love author thingy at 10 on 9 p.m. And I was like, can't ask her too, can't ask her too much more. But I hate giving up on people. But I think it's about that time, honey emoji. I was low key in my, I was high key, it wasn't even low key, high key in my feelings, bro. High key in my feelings. And then I was like, what about it? Question mark. And I was like, I hope you and old girl have fun. Laughing face emoji, honey emojis, cause I said her name. So he was like. And he was like, give up on me. I dare you. I don't care. You mad at me for texting someone. That's petty. I never thought about cheating or ever did. No, we wasn't. No, we wasn't. All she said was, what you do? Give me a massage. What you doing? But you know everything. But you know everything. So you got it. Don't hit me up. 200 emojis. Don't even respond. 300 emojis. So, you know, I was like, I right, bet. Bye. And he was like, bye, honey emojis. And I was like. You're really funny because it's crazy because you don't understand where this is coming from. It's like, all I know, you tripping over a girl who live in a whole nother state that was just being real, but it's cool. You got it. And it's like, but you texting her like you don't have a whole girlfriend. It's funny how you can text her, but you can't text your own girlfriend. I was, I was high key upset, y'all. I, I think I was just jealous, to be honest. I'm a very jealous person. I'm very territorial. And then he was like, I thought you were asleep and you act like I do that every day, you know. I come home and pass out, but it's cool. You got it in caps. And I was like, how is that possible when I texted you? When you started texting, when y'all started texting at 10 and you texted me around 12. When he sent me that picture, it was 12 o'clock at night. And they started texting at 10 o'clock. So he got caught up because, you know, I peeped that. And I was like, asking me, was I okay? So how... So how was I asleep? And he's like, cause I had to see you post that and then you was okay and I went to pick up my mom for work. So I went to sleep after that. But don't worry, I'm good. You got it, homie. And then did I be take that out? But then I got a text message from my best friend and like half of that disappeared from what I said. So I'm gonna see if I can pull it up on Snapchat real quick. Yeah. This is one funny thing, like who told me to do story time? If you told me to do story time, bro, like, congrats to you. Because, like, really looking at this, like, I'm a very, I'm not mean, but I am a mean person, if you get what I'm saying. So, I was like, I was like, cut. Then I was like, you're not even understand where I'm coming from. And he's like, spit it out then. I was like, okay, okay. So Sunday, you say you're going to call me, but you don't. So Monday, I text you at 9 saying, hey, not a text back. But you texting, old girl. And I'm right. 
and I'm reading what y'all talking about. So I get mad and make a, po- a post, um, make a post that that stuff on IG around 12 slash 1 o'clock. And I finally get a text talking about you okay. Anyone okay anyone i felt like you shouldn't have to take me to post something to get your attention but you were sleep right so i I cried and go to sleep and fast forward yes i cried because i was high key in my feelings and it's like tuesday i text no text back again the whole day right so yes i have every right to be mad and if you don't understand why i'm mad then i don't know but basically you didn't text me for a whole two days but text this random girl who you claim live in a whole nother state and he was like i keep saying it I didn't text you back on the days because I was asleep. I was up bored with, with old girl because it was late. So I thought you were asleep. So when when she says, uh, I thought you were asleep. So when it says something to you, it was after I had came from picking up my mom. And I was like, you didn't even shoot a text though. And said it jumped to conclusion. I hate when people, I hate, I one thing about me, I hate when people jump to conclusions where you can clearly just ask me, bro. Like, come on now. Anyway, and he was like, and she do live in another state. I said, are you okay? And I said, and left me open again and again and again. And it's like, that's only in the morning because I read your messages going out the door or if I fall asleep. And I was like, okay, okay, okay. Because obviously I'm in the wrong here. And he's like, whatever, bro. Nobody said you was, you say you was, but you got it. And I was like, same difference. You said I was petty. He said I was petty. He said I was petty. He said I was petty. <laughs> okay. And then he was like, this whole, and this whole thing is petty over a girl who lives in another state. And I was like, well, I just wanted to text back, so good night. <laughs> I am petty. I said, I just wanted a text back, so good night. Dang, I must have been high key upset. And that's, that's all the screenshots. So, you know, after that, I don't even know what happened after that. This phone is acting retarded. Hold up and <laughs> Moving on, everything that previously I just told you about, all the messages and stuff, that was October 5th. So this is October 6th. So I posted something on Instagram. I'm gonna insert it so y'all can watch it. I was not proud of this, but at the time I was very in my feelings and I wanted to hurt the crap out of him. Rotten brown in that chrome out bin. South Beach, nigga, you ain't about that life. You cross that bridge, they're taking all that ice. You don't want no problems with them boys from the bottom. Strip your ass butt naked and hit the turnpike. You a fuck boy, fuck boy. My bitch been said it. That's why I should've let your best friend get it. We went on trips, you bought Chanel. But money ain't shit when you soft as hell. Cause you a fuck boy, fuck boy. My mama even said it. Got a new nigga, I ain't even gotta sweat it. You still gon' talk, and that's a goddamn shame. But a hoe gon' be a hoe, and the lame gon' be a lame. Fuck boy. You never heard me asking niggas for shit. You be on the gram asking niggas for pics. Can't believe I let you waste all my time. Now this fuck boy on my voicemail crying. Running around town with your bum ass hoe. But I'm the blueprint, that's why you at my dough. She my number one fan, that's what makes it sweet. Bitch, you do anything for a fucking retweet. South Beach, nigga, you ain't about that life. You cross that bridge. So he was, boy boy was like, so that's how you want to do this. Is this really what you want? And I said, I just wanted to show you what petty really is. He was like, oh, you want me to be petty? Because I can end you now, honey emoji. You know that for a fact. And I was like, and what? Question mark. He's like, you know, I came to the game to apologize to you. So this is Thursday because I told you how we had to cheer at his school for the JV game and he was there and I was going to go over there and speak to him. But then one of the other girls on the on his church at his school on their JV church, he was trying to fight one of our girls because she was going out with this dude and supposedly she didn't like her because of that. So, you know, they were all trying to get them to leave to go that way. And then I was about to go over there, but they thought I was going to go sit down to her, but I was going to go up for him. But, so, you know, we never ended up having that conversation. And he was like, you know, I came to the game to apologize to you, but I went to go eat after they lost and I was going to come home and text you, but you pulled this stunt like I won't put your out there but i won't because i'm not going to stoop down to your level i'm better than that i have bigger things in mind and i was like okay but i did i just did that to show you that petty show you that petty but i'm not going to keep repeating myself it's finally face emoji and i was I'm like i mean what was you going to say anyway and he's like it don't matter now you're showing that you don't give a and i was like actually i do give 
If I didn't, I would have did all the extra. Like, I really had caught feelings for you. And I seen that, and I was hurt, but I didn't want to show it. That's why I did what I did. He's like, I, I had feelings for you now, but I'm done. Good night. I was like, okay, good night. So, after that, we broke up. So, yeah, that's what happened. So, moving on. After that, I tried multiple times to apologize to him. So, October 10th, I was like, are you still mad at me? And then, like, the week after, I mean, he had his homecoming. Like, I was supposed to go to his homecoming. He was supposed to go to my homecoming. But I never went. But I did some good luck for his homecoming and stuff. And I hope that he take a beautiful girl to homecoming. Whatever. So, October 10th, I was like, are you still mad at me? No response. Anyway, then... This is my first time trying to apologize. And I, so this is October 17, 2016. I was like, LOL. Okay, well, I need to get this off my chest to help me. By the way, it's nothing bad. I like can face it with me. But I was finally told my mom about the breakup. And I went and I wouldn't and I wanted to apologize for the way everything went down. And and the fact that I shouldn't have never been mad to begin with. LOL. Can't get mad if I peep. I know that now. Passing all of that, I wanted to say thank you for the my interviews that I that that was uh, that was this spent together. I really do mean it. I hold no grudges against you, and I hope the same. But I'm sorry if I failed you as a girlfriend, because I truly did like you and meant every and meant everything I told you, and you let me realize to myself that I can't catch catch feelings, which I did, and I'd be alright. I can catch feelings. So, so once, so once, thank you for everything everything you did and sorry for wasting your time maybe someday we'd be friends or a second chances might happen but you never know so i hope you have a good rest of the season and a wonderful rain dance with your beautiful young lady until then goodbye i guess thank you for everything i'm sorry i told you as a girlfriend so that's what i said and my phone is about to die so that was the first time i tried to apologize and then i tried to apologize on instagram so now i gotta go read stuff off instagram I don't know nobody. I don't know nobody. I swear my phone be acting so slow, bro. This shit ain't going 30%. I mean, 15%. Ooh. It's just taking forever. I'll be back. I had to switch to my iPod because it was taking too long for it to load on my phone. So, October 23rd at 3.21 p.m., I mean, a.m., I, I tried apologizing again. I was like, look, I know you're thinking, like, what the, f- I keep texting you, but I can't do this no more. Honestly, I miss you, and you keep saying I'm going to be okay. And I keep saying I'm going to be okay, but it's not true. I miss the texting and the long phone calls, and they say you always made and they say you always make me smile, even even on my worst days. But of course, I had to let my past affect me and mess up things. I remember when we first started talking and how we said if we broke up, we're going to get back together. Laughing emoji. Good times, but I'm tired of flexing. Not for my friends, but for me. I messed up. I know. It's been hard for me since we broke up. I honestly didn't want to. I'm sorry for all the pain I caused you, but I miss you. And I'm, I miss you. My mom misses you. I just hate myself for always me- messing up the good things. Honestly, I wish I... I could have gave this a second chance because you are the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> to happen to me in a long time. So yes, I'm asking for a second chance because I, I miss you and I miss everything to the way we text, to the way we talk, to the way we kiss, and I don't want those memories to disappear. And I'm sorry for bothering you because, you, cause you probably don't want nothing to do with me. Then I sent him a video. So yeah, that's what happened. We gotta put up with this other shit. The easiest thing to do is leave. You did. Anyway, check this out. Yeah. So we gotta stay strong, don't wanna move on I know you're sick and tired of the fussing and the fighting and the cussing But I love you and you love me too I did you wrong, you did me wrong I take you back, you take me back I did you wrong, you did me wrong November 2nd, I posted this poem thingy, and I'm going to put it in there, and then I wrote this poem, and it's called My First Time, so here it go, 
It's crazy how I cry every night between 12 and 4 a.m. over all heartbreak I feel will never end. As the memories flood in and the pain escapes my eyes, I sit here crying and not as time goes by. Wishing I can happen back, I keep apologizing, but that's doing no good. If I take it back, I should and I will because I don't want no memories to fade. What would it take? Be begging on my knees for him to see my pain of a great mistake. I just don't know, but only one thing, 8-21-16 is a day of memory. Now I'm left with a heart ache. I just want him back. I know I messed up because I can't even get a text back. But I still wait because it takes a strong person to recognize a mistake, even a strong one to forgive a person's mistake. Since I'm keeping it a hundred, I was acting out of insecurity, afraid you was going to leave me. The rest had already did. Let's be real. I'm not the most beautiful or the most smartest or the most bravest or the most independent or have the biggest butt or have the biggest boobs. So I cried that night. Hours upon hours after reading what I saw. But when we was arguing, I didn't want none of that to end. I did it anyway, unsure how to explain to you how I felt instead. So I'm doing it now. Whether you see this or not, I was insecure, but my love for you stays strong. I'm still sitting here waiting because what I did was wrong. If you look past my flaws, I promise if you give me a second chance, it won't happen again. Losing you forever, I can't possibly imagine. I began to wrap my mind around it. Just think about it. Because you're the best thing that ever happened. So, I hope you guys like it. Then he sent me all this. And then he was like, are you are you really serious? Dot, dot. You making me, you making all of this public tagging me and people telling me I did you wrong. The It was your fault. I don't need for you to put me on the spot just because you heard I have things to do. I have moved on. I'm happily talking to someone right now. Dot, dot. I got my mind set on football and players, so chill the out. Never say you did, did me wrong, but okay. Have a good life, and I hope things work out. And it's like, I didn't I didn't say you say, say it. Dot, dot. I know you know how to read. And I was like, half of them don't even know what happened. The ones who know the story... No, I did wrong. Then he sent me screenshots of all the people tagging him or whatever. At least he got him some followers. And he was like, ridiculous. And I say, it doesn't matter. You moved on, right? I hope you have. I hope you're happy, and I hope everything goes well for you. Doesn't have to hurt for you. Say sorry. Hi. So I'm back on my iPod. So if I'm talking fast, I'm sorry. But you know, he posted that post, and I was like, I don't mean. Did this because I saw us only doing this because I saw this down my timeline, but not trying to be petty. But you and your girl cute a lot. But anyway, what I did to you was very messed up, uh, messed up to be honest. And I, and I was all the way in the wrong. But after you left, I know what it felt like to finally be heartbroken. You showed me stuff about myself I never knew I had, regardless of what happened. In the future, I still have strong feelings for you, but there is no longer in us. I hope your future is amazing, but I'm still here. I'm still here. You know how to let that know. I'm still here. <laughs> I need to stop. I'm like, my music stop. Anyway, what was it? Oh, but I'm still here, and I just hope you don't hate me, but I understand if you do, because I hate what I did to you. Have a wonderful rest of 2K16 and a great relationship. And he said thanks. And I was like, no problem. And then the last time I talked to him was on Snapchat. That was December 25th. And I was just told, I just told him Merry Christmas. But I mean, I pretty much sent that to like everybody. So, you know, that's what I feel like. Honestly, I wasn't wrong. But you know, at the same time, I was hurt at the time. I was high key very hurt because like he really tried to play me like I was stupid or whatever. But I mean I still I, I still like him a lot. Really a lot. And yeah, y'all ask and y'all probably like why I keep looking that way. That's cause like I have like all this stuff set up right here for this but I need to be looking for anyway. So I'm like, yeah still got feelings for the kid but the kid is in a relationship so I'm gonna respect that. Uh, obviously I'm definitely gonna respect that. But like regardless like what I did was in the wrong but like I was hurt and I wish I would have never posted that on Instagram because if I would have never posted that on Instagram, we'd probably still be dating right now. But I did, and I can't change that. And all I can all I can do is keep saying sorry. But at one point, I gotta stop saying sorry, and I'm not saying sorry anymore because I tried apologizing, and obviously that didn't work. Obviously, you can see like both of our feelings are pretty strong there. So yeah, that's what I went. Um, I don't really know 
what to say, honestly. I mean, looking at it, like, I'm a very mean person. Well, I'm not gonna say I'm mean, but I'm just, just like, really listening to myself. Like, I kind of, like, I should have just left the situation alone. I just felt like I was being insecure when he was texting that girl. I don't know. But, you know, it is what it is. Things happen. Everything happens for a reason. So, Stan, I tried talking to some boys, but, you know, I'm not really feeling, feeling it since that relationship. I really don't want to be in a relationship with anybody else because, like, all, they're all so childish. I'm like, get over yourselves. But your girl took a big old ale. So, yeah, that was my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed the story time me talking about somehow I thought my boyfriend cheated on me. It was pretty long, but I hope you do enjoy. So if you're not already, please follow me on Instagram at simply.foreverasia. And don't forget to add your girl on me snap. I'm moneybaby underscore bae. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more story times in the future. And also don't forget to subscribe because we are trying to reach a goal of 5k subscribes before 2k, 2k, 17 ends. So yeah, lit, 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 lit. Also, don't forget to comment video requests that you would like to see in the near future, and I hope that I get to it very soon. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and sign out because it's 3:54 in the morning again. See you later. Grit the trigger, nobody call up the gang and they come and get gang. Cry me a river, give you a tissue. It's bad and bullshit, bad. Cooking up dope with a oozy. My niggas are savage, ruthless. We got.